All right, y'all. Here we go. This is the anodizing step. So first thing you want to do is make sure your hands got gloves on them. Um, for one, you don't want oil transfer, uh, you know, from your skin or whatever onto whatever you're about to anodize. But for two, you're messing with some acid and some chemicals and stuff like that. And you just want to limit exposure of that stuff to your hands. Um, so what we have, um, starting here, this is an electrolyte solution. So what this is, this is just distilled water. And I used, you know, just some Arm & Hammer baking soda. You can also use borax um, in this step. There's no specific amount you have to use. Um, like in, in this, I just, just a regular tablespoon, you know, of it in there. Mix it up till it's dissolved good. Uh, that's good enough. You need some kind of other non-reactive metal, okay, to, to put in here. I've seen people use uh, utensils, spoons, forks, stuff like that, and bend them. A uh, piece of aluminum foil works just fine. And see, now I'm using a power supply here. Um, you can use 9-volt batteries. Uh, you just want to make sure that your negative is connected to this, this piece of metal that you've got sitting in your electrolyte solution. Uh, this one right here, this is some wink rust and stain remover. And what that step is, that is making sure that there is no uh, coating whatsoever on the titanium. Uh, you know, if it's already anodized, it'll take that off. Uh, it eats up oils, anything that could possibly still be left on the titanium, that takes care of. Um, this one right here, this is just some Windex, and this is actually just some cheap knockoff Windex that I had. Uh, reason why I chose this instead of name brand, name brand Windex actually has a perfume in it, so I just, I don't want that to be something that could mess up the process. This one doesn't have a perfume, so. Uh, here, I think uh, Blade HQ recommends using, what's the name of that stuff, Mean Green Cleaner, something like that. That works just fine too, okay, but so does this. This cup right here, this is the cup that I'm going to use to rinse off uh, both after the Windex bath, rinse, okay, and then dip into the uh, wink here, rinse, okay, so that's what this cup here is for. This cup is for rinsing after uh, it's done anodizing and it comes out of the uh, this bath right here, okay. Okay. Um, I have a piece here that I want to do first. Let me make sure I've got my thing set to the right voltage here. I do not. It is high. I want to get, I want to get it down to 25 volts. And 25 volts will give us a cool, good, deep blue. Uh, there we go. 25 volts. Okay. Um, so the piece that I want to do first is the lock bar side and that's because it has the detent ball here um i have some uh clear nail polish on the detent ball uh, you want to make sure you do that so you don't ruin the finish on your detent ball um but i also want to make sure reason why i want to do this first is i want to make sure that the bath and the uh wink here doesn't remove that nail polish i'm not sure if it's reactive to it or not and there's only one way to find out sorry i'm inspecting it off camera here make sure everything's everything's good um and only one way to find that out is to give it a bath so that's what i'm gonna do uh where is got my titanium wire here um you want to make sure you use, uh, best thing to use is titanium wire, okay, just because it's, uh, it just is. <laughs> um, so, let me get my length of wire here, where's my cutters, here's my cutters. Put them right there. All right, and then you just... Feed this wire through one of the little holes on the knife or on the scale, frame, whatever. 
And I always kind of like to do it like a twist tie. Twist it a few times. Sorry, I'm off camera, guys. Sorry. I'm at a new angle. I'm having to figure stuff out. Twist it a few times. And we should be good to go. Where's my drink? Get a drink. Huh. All right. And so what you do, you slosh it around in this for a few seconds, just a little while. What this does, this is this uh, removes the majority of oils and stuff like that from your hands that might be on there. Um, and then from there, go into the rinse. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. I'm I got it dunked down in the in this cup, rinsing it. And then from there, we're going to go into the wink, and we want to pay close attention when we get into the wink, because what what it'll start doing is the metal will start to bubble and that's your sign that it's time to come out okay if you leave it in too awful long it can etch your titanium it can it can potentially destroy your titanium okay but that's why you just want to pay attention so here we go into the wink going a little and there it is already bubbling and there we go back into the rinse Okay, now I've got gloves on, so I'm not too awful worried about touching it now. I just want to check that detent ball, and it looks fine, looks fine. So here's my next step. Clip the positive end to the titanium wire here. I like to wrap it around that gator clip couple of times and just so you can kind of see the how this does I'm going to turn it on first let it get up the voltage and then I'm going to go in with it All right, and what I usually do, I don't know if you can see it on there, but these are the amps here. I usually wait for them to level out steady, you know, fairly steady. So I'll go ahead and flip this over just in case there was part that didn't have any connection. All right, that ought to be good enough. So now I cut my power off. Wait for that to completely go off. Take this out. And there's what it looks like right now, but it's going to get loud for a second. Sorry, so break. noise warning. I'm using my air compressor to blow it off, okay? All right, here it goes. Ready? And so there is what it looks like after it has dried off. I'm cool with that. Nice good blue. So what I'm going to do is I got a little spot off camera over here. I'm just going to hang that up just so it can finish doing any potential drying it's got. And we'll move on. We'll move on to the next step. Um... I've got some older titanium that I've used over here that I'm going to reuse. 
All right, so this I want to test first. I want to make absolutely sure that this is in fact titanium and not stainless steel because that there's a lot of companies that like to do that and I'm not a hundred percent sure on hinderer um, how they like to do or how they do it so the way I'm gonna do this one is I'm just I'm not gonna give it any kind of bath nothing like that I'm gonna clip it directly onto this thing here turn on my power supply and dunk it and let's see oh yeah okay that's titanium that is titanium so we are good to go on that I'm still gonna play around with it for a second just so you can see let's cut it off right there okay for sure titanium See, we got a, I got it to purple on that one. Um, so, all right, now that I know that for sure, what I'm going to do is I'm going to now uh, rinse it off. That's something I didn't do to that piece. Uh, I should have done that to the piece that I just took out, the, the blue side that I did. Oh, well, that's just something I'm going to have to make sure I do from here on out. And the only reason for that is just to any, any, um, What's that stuff called? Baking soda that might still be in here. Could leave just a film or something on there just to get that cleaned off, okay? All right, so from there, I'll do it like I normally would. I'll come over here to the Windex. Now that I know for sure that's titanium. And then I'll rinse that off over here in this cup. Guys, this, this is actually pretty easy stuff to do at home if you're interested in it um, so as you can see purple purplish right so here's here's an example of what the wink can and will do for you boom here we are back to raw titanium okay so that's what the wink rink wink does for you all right so since i've already demonstrated to you how this works i'm gonna go ahead and put this one in the stuff and then turn it on let it do its thing while i get another drink no but what i was saying guys is this stuff is all easy to find, easy to buy. This is an easy process to do. Um, if you're interested in it at all, it's fun. It's some. It's a fun do-it-yourself at-home project for your knives. Um, I like working on my knives. I like customizing them. I like, uh, you know, stuff like that. So this this is just right up my alley doing something like this. So it's fun to me. Matter of fact, here's my here's my Chavez in my pocket that I've done got a purple on the pocket clip and the back spacer and bronze on the the frame and purple uh dyed the micarta here purple it's a little sweaty right now so it's hard to tell but that was a fun little project essentially the same thing i'm doing here i'm just sharing this with you guys instead of doing it in secret all right so that ought to be enough let's get that power turned off and after we get that power turned off, we'll do like the last one. We will take it out. And unlike the last one, we will rinse it off. All right. And noise warning again, okay? Noise warning again. Here comes the noise in three, two, one. Once again, a real, 
real good rich blue on there so there we go guys there is the frame and the liner uh, next things to do are the filler tab and the pocket clip and I want to I'm gonna do those a different color so I need to get my uh, voltage turned down here I'm gonna do those a purple so I need to turn that down to 18 18 oh, 17.9 come on 18 18 volts there we go okay uh, just showing off something else that I've been playing with here here's a uh, titanium bead that I did it looks purple on camera but it's this real um, pinkish magenta color this was done at 65 volts so yeah just you know cool just showing you um, got some more pre-used titanium wire over here that I'm gonna use again uh, this time let's go ahead with the pocket clip why not So, same thing. Same thing with this one. All right, and into the glass cleaner, into the rinse. into the wink till it starts bubbling a little. There we go. And into the rinse. All right, now let's get it fully submerged in here. Can y'all see that? Uh, I can't tell if you can see it or not on the camera. I'm trying to get one, at least one to where y'all can see it real good. That ought to be good, okay? So, I did that in the wrong order, so now I'm going to have to do it again. But, no problem, looks like. And then, on with the power. And while that's doing its thing, getting another drink of beer. Um, let's see. There we go. All right, looks like that's stabilized, so let's turn that off. Let's see how this purple came out. Let's see if I want to do it on this level of purple, or there's also some more... Uh, Real purplish colors you can get in the higher volts, kind of around the bead here with the magenta. All right, and there's how it looks before drying it off. So, another noise warning, y'all. Another noise warning. Three, two, one. And there's how it looks after being dried off. Let's see. Hmm. I like it, but it's not quite as purple as I was hoping. And that has to do with the finish. That has to do with the working finish on the on the knife. Uh Let's see, what do I want to do here? You know what? It won't hurt nothing. Let's try it.
Let's see. I'm looking up the voltage on that other one. Let's see. Let's try it. Let's try it on a higher voltage and see what we get. And that's going to be 75 on that one. So i got to crank this up a good bit. There we go, 75, okay. Let's turn that off. And just for just for fun for y'all, let me cuz you can you can um if you've got one that's in a higher So if I anodize that one at 18 volts and I wanted to do it again like I'm doing now, do it at 75 volts. I don't have to put it in the wink. I can put it back in. You can you can go from lower voltage to higher voltage and it will anodize at the color of the higher voltage you just can't go backwards if you want to go backwards you have to get it in that wink stuff so let's try and make this one a little bit of a show because it's going to go through several colors to get up to that 75 i'll try and make it interesting for y'all so let's get it turned on let it get up there and hope y'all can see it All right, let's see what that got us. All right, noise warning, three, two, one. Oh, that got us. All right, see, so that got us real close to that blue again. Um, all right, so let's try. It's going to be a little trial and error here. So that's at 75. Uh, what does what does 70 get us? 70 volts. I want 70 volts. All right, so since I'm going backwards, I do definitely this time have to get it in that wink here. All right. Turn that off. Got to be safe doing this. We're, you're in you're in voltages that'll hurt pretty good if you get shot. So, all right. So here we are back to. Oh, nope, I gotta do it a little more. Still got a little color there. Yeah, there we go. Here we are back to bare titanium. All right, what did I set it to? 70 this time? 70. All right, ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Zap. Yeah, see, that seems to have gotten us more into that magenta, pinkish magenta color here. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. Hang on. All right, here comes 
Here comes noise again. Three, two, one. Okay, yeah, that got us that got us into a more pinkish color. So if if 70 is pink and 75 is a lot more blue, let's see what 72 gets us. Let's see what 72 and a half gets us. Let's get somewhere somewhere in the middle of the road there. Let's see what 72 and a half is going to give us. Yeah, let's see. That looks a little more purple. All right, noise warning again. Three, two, one. Yeah, there we go, guys. I think I found more of the purple I'm looking for. There it's 72 and a half. That's that's more of a that shows up as more of a royal purple on this working finish. Awesome. Alright, so magic number for that one is 72 and a half. Alright. I'm gonna have to cut another strand of this titanium here now for the for the uh, filler tab but then after that filler tab we're gonna be done anodizing here y'all all right filler tab filler tab here we go but then of course after after anodizing, sorry y'all, I'm trying to trying to do this on camera for you. I'm sorry. This is probably not going to be a great video, but you'll see the results of it anyway, right? Better than nothing. Um, so there's that little bitty filler tab, and just like everything else, into the uh, window cleaner, rinse. I didn't rinse off the pocket clip either, did I? Dadgum it. Oh well. Into the wink. This shouldn't take but just a few seconds. There it goes. All right, power on, 72 and a half, and here we go in three, two, one. And we have stabilized. I say stabilized, but, you know, leveled out, I guess I should say. All right, and we will rinse this one off. And here we go. Noise warning in three, two, one. And again in three, two, one.
So there we go. There's that little purple filler tab there. All right, let me let me check on this. Uh, since I didn't rinse off this pocket clip, let me check on it real quick. Yeah, you know what? I can tell. I can tell it didn't get rinsed off. So let's let's redo this one, and then we will be done. Redo this one, and that will be the end of it. End of anodization for the hinderer. Come on. Get that finish off of there. There we go, there we go. Okay. Let's do it just a little, slosh it around in there a little bit. All right, now, now let's do this. 72.5 and 3, 2, 1. All right. And we are off. Now let's rinse it. All right, y'all. And here, now this is the last noise warning, okay? Three, two, one. Ah, yes. There we go. Much better. Much better. Awesome. 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 So that's it, guys. That is anodizing the hinderer. It's a little time consuming, but it's fun, though. It's easy to do. So there you go. Um, next step is going to be to dye this G10 here. All right. So that's coming up, guys. Thank y'all for watching. Have a good one.